Hi, Open Night fans. I am Tommy Jones, and we are here today at Classic Lanes just outside of Chicago, Illinois. And uh, we're here to do the first 10 on a new ball. Um, one that I'm very excited about, a ball that has been in the Ebonite line for a long time. This is the next introduction into the Game Breaker line. <clears throat> so we have the Game Breaker 5, as you can see, Royal blue, dark blue, great shelf appeal. Has lots of uh, options with the game breaker, as the game breakers always have. With the cover socks, you'll be able to do a lot of different things with it. Um, it's a ball that I've used as shiny as you would can get it, and as dull as you can get it, depending on the lane surface. This is a ball that for guys on tour, we consider to be like a benchmark ball. Uh, the reason why is it's symmetrical, gives us a very consistent ball roll and everything else that we can use to see what the lanes are doing and uh, lower our G so we get our break point a little bit closer to us. Something that we look for on tour. Oh, that's got a hook. Cut that one in a little bit, still cut through the oil. Um, same, uh, same game breaker core, the hand speed 2 core. Um, this one is finished at 500, 1500 CA air. So it comes out with a little bit of texture. Uh, I do have one here that has a little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, shine on it that I'll show you in a minute on the fill shot. Just to show you the versatility in the cover of this ball. As you see, nice, consistent, smooth, kind of arcing motion, keeps going down lane. Uh, we talked about the RG. The RG of this ball is 2.48. It's a little bit lower than a lot of the balls in the industry these days, um, but a ball that uh, you, you definitely got to have one in your bag. Got away with that a little bit, got my hand up the back of it a little bit. Um, this ball is definitely designed for medium to heavy oil. It's going to be a ball that you can use the first game in league, maybe the second game in league, and then if your league shot's kind of like the one that I sub in and, and practice on back home, the third game you might need to go to something a little bit cleaner. It's a great complement to the GB4 Hybrid. It is a cleaner cover. GB4 Hybrid has HK22 on it, where the GB5 does not. Not the best one there for me, but we'll shoot our spare. We're controlling the pocket here. Learning about this ball as we go, just like uh, you guys will when you watch the video. This ball is available in 10 to 16 pounds, so if you got a young uh, a youth or a a senior bowler that wants to find one in 13 or 14 pounds to kind of fill out their arsenal. You don't lose a, you don't lose much with the performance of the bowling ball in those weights. A lot of guys on tour have even tried the 14 thing. Some are still using it.
Much better shot there. See the mid lane, mid lane roll. Just keeps going, just kind of round. That's a ball that we'll definitely use when they're a little bit harder, a little bit trickier lane surf, lane, lane condition. Um, but even if they are easy, can be the first ball out of your bag and it'll tell me where to go if I need to go, you know, to a little, something cleaner like the GB4 hybrid or an Emerge, Emerge hybrid, one of those two. Or if I need to get to something bigger like the One Remix. That one made me look good because that was not a very good shot. And you can see it still gets off the friction plenty hard. Um, it's just something that for probably close, it's gotta be close to 20 years now. I've had game breakers in my bag, two, maybe three, um, from the GB, from the game, to the original game breaker to the game breaker two, um, game breaker three, you know, GB4 hybrid, GB4 pearl. And now we have the GB5. The thing I like about it is that it's just consistent. I kind of know what I do, you know, what I'm looking for. I know what I'm going to do with it. If I get it a little right, it's going to catch the friction and go. If I get it a little in, it's going to it's going to kind of be smooth and lay there. It's lots of lots of variables that you can do with this ball. It has 048 differential, which is not as high as some of the others, but still plenty of flare potential. Still packs plenty of a punch down lane. Probably the best one of the game right there. But well, we're in the 10th frame here. We got two more strikes to bowl 259. Pretty good with the first uh, first game with the ball. Uh, the cover stock on this is the GB 12.7 solid. So it's a solid bowling ball. Again, no HK22 on this one. So it's not as violent as the GB4 hybrid. Still got plenty of plenty on the back end of lanes. You know, the one shot that I didn't throw very good, I got in, I kind of twirled a little bit. And we left a flat 10. Other than that, we have a ring 10, we're bowling for 59. So uh, I have another one here that I've taken the surface up on a little bit. So you'll see that this one will be cleaner and a little bit sharper off the spot. This one we took up to 4,000 just to show you guys at home. Stay in the same spot. Probably got to be a pitch slower just because of uh, the cleanerness. And we left a nine pin. It's the great thing about the GB, GB line is it's so predictable when you know to it. We go into it, we make a very confident, a confident approach, a confident shot to figure out what the lanes are doing. So that's it for the uh, first 10 frames of the GB5. 258, pretty good game. Uh, thank you guys for all following us. Thanks for Classic Lanes letting us come out. Greatly appreciate all you guys have done. Uh, follow us on our social media channels and pages. And uh, thanks and remember to bowl to win.